I'm Pramod Rodrigo from Tomorrow Financial Solutions. Today, I'm here to talk to you about whether it's a good time to refinance during the COVID-19 situation we all are facing. So we have been sent some questions for people to know what are the requirements and what are the banks are offering during this COVID-19 time. So let's get on to it. At this time of the year or at this time of the situation, the banks are offering very low interest rates. So you may be paying an interest rate somewhere in between 35 to 3.9%. Now, currently, the banks are offering rates starting from 2.19. See, straight away, you're going to be saving quite a lot of money as soon as you refinance. Now, not just because of interest rate, you should make this decision. You also need to make sure that you have an income so you can give the pay slips to the bank as their requirements. Also, also understand the banks are these days asking a little bit more information than it's usual. So back in the day, they would have asked two, two pay slips, but now they may ask two pay slips plus another extra pay slip at the time of the settlement. So be prepared for that. Now, as an example, if somebody has a $400,000 home loan who is paying a 3.75% interest rate, that person must, must be paying a monthly repayment of $1,852. Now, if that person managed to refinance that to a, to a loan uh, with a new bank uh, around 2.19%, that person's monthly repayment will come down to $1,537 per month. Now, that is a savings of $315 a month. Now, if you calculate that for the next 12 months, you would save $3,780. So that's a quite a lot of money that you will save. Now, also, the banks are giving other offers when you refinance. Now, some of the banks are giving $4,000 worth of cash rebate for, to your account. Some banks at $1,000, some banks at $2,000. So speak to your mortgage broker, speak to a banker and understand and see what, the, what are the offers that they are giving you and how you can save by refinance. So remember, it's very important when you're doing a refinance during this time that you are prepared to give the information the bank is requesting, especially the extra pay slips. And they also will ask certain questions such as du during the COVID-19, what are the uh, what are your position and what is the uh, your employer's position as well. So be prepared to give that information. Uh, now, one of the other things that you need to remember is during this time, if you're on a job keeper or job seeker payments, the bank will not take that income into to their calculation, which means the bank will most probably will decline your deal or decline your application because they will not consider that income as a sustainable income. So make sure you speak to your banker or the mortgage broker and go through with these requirements before you go and commit yourself into an application. Now, I want to finish this with by saying to you, when you're refinancing, one of the little things that you need to make sure is think about the long term what you're going to be getting in the new application. If you were currently in a loan term uh, of 30 years when you started it and you paid it off in five years term, don't go and ask for the 30 years just because you can. Now, banks won't say anything for that, but you should continue your loan term as it is because that's where your actual savings will start to kick in. Because if you're going to keep on increasing the loan term, that savings in the long term, it's not going to work for you. So remember, try and continue the loan term that you currently have when you refinance. And you will have the, re, uh, the, the savings with the new interest rates as well. So guys, I hope I've given you good information in relation to refinancing uh, during the COVID-19 time. Now, if you have any questions or any concerns, you can reach the Sri Lanka Morning Show or you can reach us uh, from, our, from our website. So, guys, thank you very much for your time and be safe.